Okay, uh, welcome again to another video. And in this video, we are going to show a case, or actually two cases, just to uh, tell us uh, or help uh, us in uh, uh, locating a tooth, whether it is located, an impacted tooth, whether it is located in a buccal or in a palatal position, uh, in reference to the adjacent teeth. In this radiograph, which you see over here, which shows an uh, a periapica radiograph of the uh, central incisors, and uh, it shows a an impacted canine. And if you have a look here, you cannot actually, from this 2D radiograph, you cannot locate whether or tell whether you're going to, uh, whether this impacted tooth is located in a palatal direction or palatal position or in a buccal position so that you can open your flap and do the surgery to uh, take the tooth out. But uh, taking a, another look at the radiograph, you will what we will do is that we will compare the radio opacity and the sharpness of this tooth in reference to, to the adjacent teeth. The adjacent teeth are naturally present in the middle of the alveolar uh, bone. Okay. Now this tooth, which you see the canine here, is uh, appears more radio opaque and more uh, sharp than the uh, uh, other two central incisors and the lateral incisors. So uh, being more radio opaque and sharper than the other teeth, this means that this tooth is located closer to the fin. It means that it is located uh, in a palatal position. If it is possible to palpate the tooth clinically, you will, you might fi find the bulge of the crown of the tooth. But from the radiograph, uh, we can say that this tooth is located in a uh, uh, palatal position. Now let's have a look at the this periapic radiograph, which shows the uh, posterior teeth, uh, molars six, seven, and eight. And the in the eight, you, uh, uh, the uh, the wisdom tooth, you can see that it is mesial. It has it, in a, it, it's impacted in a mesial angular uh, direction, and. Uh, 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 it's uh, at least most of the tooth has actually impacted except the distal buccal uh, uh, region it appears to be uh, partially impacted in soft tissue now even though uh, it is it is not uh, uh, really possible to tell whether this tooth is uh, uh, located in a uh, lingual the crown i mean is it located in a lingual or in a buccal direction so that you can open your flap uh, and operate but again we will go back to uh, the this uh, uh, characteristic uh, uh, feature of the radiograph two-dimensional radiograph in which we know that structures which are closer to the film i.e lingual are locate uh, uh, appear uh, more radio opaque and more sharp if we compare them to the uh, uh, reference uh, nearby structures as and, and you can see in here that this the crown of this tooth uh, uh, appears more radio opaque uh, than the surrounding teeth uh, uh, than if, if compared to the nearby seven and six which means that the crown of this tooth is directed in a lingual direction so that we can know where to operate uh, uh, and uh, uh, open a flap to to, uh, to extract the tooth.